Emily, give us an update. So I love when you talk about the dew points. But you Translate know, that. It is my favorite thing to talk about <laughs> because it's something that I think a lot of people, you just associate with the relative humidity. Right. You're like, oh, there's 80% humidity. But it really, it's relative on what the temperature is. That's why it's okay. called relative humidity. So when I talk about the dew point temperatures, mm -hmm. it gives you a really good idea of what it feels like. So Got let it. me dive into that Thank for you, you, Dawn. All right, temperatures out there right now, we're in the mid 80s, but your dew point temperatures have dropped into the 50s for most areas and whenever dew points are in the 50s you really don't notice that humidity all that much but once they're in the 60s that's when it feels really muggy and if you were out and about at all this morning you know that it was very very muggy just kind of uncomfortable during the early morning hours and that's because dew point temperatures were still in the upper 60s and low 70s but thanks to that cooler air mass that's been building in it's been taking away the humidity so our temperatures today we ended up topping out in the mid 80s and it actually felt like the mid 80s we weren't dealing with a major heat index value out there this afternoon. So your five day forecast, we're going to be in the 70s for your highs tomorrow and then low 80s expected on Friday near 90 on Saturday, but then we're dropping back down into the 70s again by Sunday and Monday. So most days over the next five, it's going to be fairly comfortable. It's really just on Saturday that we're going to be on the warmer side with those highs close to 90 satellite and radar. Things are quiet for most of us, but take a look at what I found when you zoom things way in. We have just a couple stray showers that have popped up in southern Porter County and then drifted into northern Jasper counties. Of course, this looks like it is weakening, so it's just some very light rain coming down at the moment. Everywhere else, we're enjoying sunshine with just a few clouds out there. Future cast taking us throughout the rest of this evening and tonight. Things are quiet. Tonight, we're dropping down into the upper 50s and low 60s. High pressure builds in. Gorgeous day for you on Thursday. Lots of sunshine. And then looking ahead to Friday, we start to see increasing cloud cover, and then we start to see the rain approaching the area closer to midday that will linger into the afternoon and evening. So if you have Friday evening, Friday night plans, you could be dealing with some rain, even some heavier downpour is going to be possible. And then a couple showers and storms are going to be lingering into Friday night, even into Saturday morning. But once we get past Saturday morning, we're going to dry things out. The rest of the day looks great. And just keep in mind, it's going to be on the warmer side with those highs in the upper 80s Saturday afternoon. For tonight in the city, we're dropping down to about 61 outlying areas. So the far northwest suburbs, west suburbs, south suburbs, actually going to be dropping down into the mid to upper 50s. So it is going to be a pretty cool start to your day tomorrow, but we do warm things up very nicely. 76 degrees, lots of sun. 82 on Friday, we'll have a chance for showers and storms during the afternoon and evening. That could linger into Saturday morning. After that, the rest of the weekend looks dry. Sunday, gorgeous, sunny skies, 75 degrees. We're near 80 on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, the rain is set to return. Lou.